Okay, this is ZetoFan27 coming with a tutorial right now. Um, I'm going to show you the tutorial of how to do the point of view, which you guys are really looking for, which is like a picture-in-picture -picture effect. It's really, really cool when you get it working well. So this is what I want to do. I'm going to take the clip I want first and place it on my first track. And as you can see, we're in Sony Vegas. And I'm also going to take my other track that I want to use, my other video, and put that on the track below it. The video that you want as the main bigger picture for your background, make sure that's on the track right below the top one. So I'm just going to put that right there. And what you're going to do is you have this set up now right here in all your working space. And what you're going to want to do now is you want to go to here where it says this track motion. Once you get the track motion, you're going to click. Okay, and you're going to give these, uh, you're going to be given these panning, like not panning, but these resizing options you see and obviously here you see our timeline which you can use to keyframe things but what we want to do is we want to make it smaller see look you can already see this really cool effect in work make it as big as we want you know mess with it however big we want but I want to place this right here just right there so as you can see right there it's right there um and with that, you know, you've got pretty much all the stuff. You got, you know, your aspect ratio stuffs. Um, you can use feathering. You can use things to feather that. For instance, if you you choose a video effect, uh, you're gonna go to your borders, I believe. Yes, you're gonna go to like your soft edge. You know, something just to lighten it up, kind of. See how it kind of feathers in like that. And you know, choose how you how you like that. So I'm just gonna feather that just real quick. And you can get a really cool effect with that. And yeah, that's going to take forever to render, but yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to do it. So, you know, if you want, if you wanted to move that, you know, all you would do is you would just go back to your track motion and say at like this point right here, you wanted it to move, you know, gradually it's going to move over there so you could keyframe it and just move it over there. So as you can see, you can see the motion, how it tracks the motion right there. So that's how you do the point of view tutorial, and this is ZetoFan27, out.